was working as an underwriter at a bank. I wanted to play the drums. And I was the only girl in the school that hopped it to play drums. Having a career in finance and leading capital projects um, and meeting with outside vendors and they walk into the meeting in the room and they don't think that you're in charge. I was uh, assigned as the manager for a foreman who had many years of experience. I was a director. I had a theater company in, um, in New York. My mom, a single mother who raised three sons in the face of very cruel adversity and against all the odds. And one day the head of the group where I was working asked me to come in and he said that some of the other bankers who were all men had said to him when he had asked for feedback on my performance that I was too confident. Employers just didn't want to hire a single mother with three children, even if she was the most qualified person for the role. I remember him getting in my face and saying, Sujata, what the hell do you know about this job? You've been here five months, you're a woman, and what, what do you know about doing this work? I was teased and I was, um, was picked on. A lot of the boys didn't want to partner with me because I was a girl. When we were on set and I would give feedback, I would get a lot of pushback from my actors um, and my co-director, who was a man, um, would give essentially the same feedback, often in a much less nuanced way, and he would not get the same pushback. So I was a little taken aback by this, and I said to the head of the group, well, I'm not quite sure what I should do with that. I'm not sure how to change my behavior, and he agreed. He didn't really have anything that he could tell me to do differently. So I said, well, then that's not really critical feedback, because there's not really anything I can do to change that. And he agreed, and we both sort of left, and I felt very disheartened and sort of demoralized and didn't quite know what to do with it, uh, he apologized and he said, I'm sorry, I should have pushed back on them and said, why is this such an issue for you? I remember coming home one night and she was crying saying, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a job again. And even when she did get employment and she performed well, she would be passed over for promotion in favor of less qualified male employees. Unfortunately, as women, we sometimes deal with that bias uh, from as early as being a young girl. You have to face that reality until adults, but I feel confident that um, we can figure this out. One day, I went home, took my drumsticks home, took out my hot pink nail polish and painted them pink, and I went back to class the next day just ready to play because I was really good.